Hi, welcome back to Barbecue Life UK. My name's Tom, and today we're cooking a whole mackerel in two, two different ways. We can do one with a Thousand Island dressing, and the other one's going to be in a chili, garlic, and lime marinade. So, we've got two sheets of tin foil. We're going to place the mackerel fillet on there, and then we've got a small shallot chopped up and a few little slices of red pepper. To that we're going to add some Thousand Island dressing. Then I just want to make sure that the fish is completely covered. I'm going to roll it about a bit on the foil, get some Thousand Island all the way over it. Make sure that our peppers and onions are nice and evenly spread out. around the top. It's got a nice seal. And that's ready to go on the barbecue like that. So with our second fish, we're going to take a very sharp knife and we're just going to make some slices into the flesh just so that we can penetrate with the flavours. If you use a sharp knife, it makes it so much easier. So I've had the chilli, ginger, lime juice and oil just sitting in a bowl, just marinating, infusing with each other for a little while. We're going to take that I'm just going to put a small part inside each of the slits. Just get it in there. Turn it over. Now ideally you want to put this in a Ziploc bag, pour the rest of your juice in and let it marinate for a couple of hours. So we've had both lots of mackerel sitting in the fridge for about an hour and a half. I've got my charcoal lit outside so we're ready to take it out. Now I find that fish is much easier to cook if you can use what I would call a fish grate. I don't know what the technical term is. It goes in a little cage, folds over the top, lock it into place, and it's got a wooden handle. So this holds your fish in place, stops it from sticking to the grills, makes life so much easier. So we're going to be doing a direct cook for both of these. So we've got the fish in the fish basket. We'll place over here. And then the fish in the foil will go directly next to it. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn flip straight over. And one in the foil. I'm gonna turn that way. I'm just gonna flip again. the internals of this side. Up to about 45. This is the right to go. Put the lid back on. Turn once again, getting a lovely bit of colour. And on a really fleshy part of the fish. It's about 59, so we're very nearly there. Another 
conflict. Him in the park. So by the time we rest, we'll come up to 67. Perfect. Just a mackerel in the fish basket that's got beautiful colour on both sides. I'll show you this side as well. But you should just be able to open this up and it will not stick too much. It's not stuck at all that side. Yeah, we did stick just a little bit, but at least it's stuck with this, which is a lot easier to clean than what your barbecue grills are. So we've taken the other mackerel out of the foil. Now, I've lost the skin on the back side because it's stuck to the foil. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. The smell of this fish is wonderful. It really works well with a thousand island dressing. So I'm looking forward to giving both of these a try. It's been a long while since I've had mackerel done on the barbecue. Definitely at least a year I've thought. The first one was the chilli flakes, the lime juice, ginger and the olive oil. Beautiful, got a lovely warmth to it. Really nice piece of fish. Second one, the one that's cooked in the foil. You can you haven't got to put this one outside. It doesn't gain anything from being cooked on the barbecue. It's just a wonderful mackerel recipe that I wanted to share with everybody. The Thousand Island dressing, if you've never had it on a mackerel goes so well. Really does work well, and the veggies. Everything takes on each other's flavour, but it's very, very well. So, if you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching.